What's going on world? It's your boy George Kill giving you another episode of Open the Box where we discover untold sneaker stories. I'm with my man Mike Vick in Florida. What's going on, man? Not much, man. Hanging out. We got to talk about these Vicks, man. Some of the most classic cleats, shoes. So let's get into it, man, because I know we talked off camera about the design process, and, and you said it, it was rigorous. It took three to four months to design each shoe. We used to take 15 different shoes, so I would take maybe three pairs of Jordans, three pairs of Adidas, three pairs of Reeboks, and we would just pull from each one of them. It was impromptu. It was whatever we thought you know, was best suited for the shoe to make it both agile on the field and in regular cross training. The Vic One, what do you remember most about that design process with this being your first shoe? My favorite, I wanted a high top shoe. I wanted something different. I wanted to break the mold in terms of style and what it looked like. I wanted this strap. A lot of the Jordans was coming out, a couple of them had a strap on them. I'm like, listen, let's try to mimic that or duplicate it in some way, shape or form. But at the same time, don't overdo it. Keep it clean, keep it classy, and that's where the check just came from. I know it took a while to create the logo, too. To me, I thought it looked more like a lightning bolt. When you see the seven, it, st it stands out, and it creates an unforeseen thought of what you're going to get to me. Mm -hmm. And it's something dynamic in it, and that was the feel. And then be unexpected. What does that mean to you right there? You never know what you're going to get. You know, in playing ball, you never knew what you was going to get with me. I never knew where my feet was gonna go, how my body was gonna turn. Everything was just off instinct, so it was unexpected for me to know going into a game what I was gonna really accomplish. Right, 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 right. And getting into the two, which was another stylish shoe that people enjoyed. It was urban wear. It was crossing over, AI with Reebok with the answer type of feel. And I give Nike a lot of credit because they made it an extraordinary cleat. You mentioned some signature lines just now. You said Michael Jordan, Iverson. Yeah. What were some of the shoes that you remember growing up that you, you just had to have? The shoes that I could afford. I didn't get my first pair of Jordans until going into my senior year of high school, and that was because I got the right job that paid me the right amount of money. Other than that, I couldn't afford them. I could only wish for certain things, and I wanted J's every time they dropped. I lived through my cousin. Every pair that dropped, he got them. You know, he, he was very fortunate growing up, and, you know, just to see him on his feet, I knew he was happy, so it was almost like I had him on my feet. And then when you got drafted by the Falcons, you had the same color schemes as like yeah. a Jordan. Yeah, I wanted to match it up. I think, yeah. you know, all the people at Nike uh, in the design process that time, he Scott Moore, he was at the top of his game right then. And the first two I kind of set back on, it was the three that I really got involved in. I wanted to run faster. I felt like I was going into my fifth year. I was in my prime. I wanted to move fast. I wanted to be different. I wanted to be unique. I wanted to rush for a thousand yards. And I'm like, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it in this shoe. This is the one we're gonna make it happen in. So E. Scott was like, what are we gonna do? We're gonna strap them up and make them tighter. So that's where the strap came from. Another crowd pleaser. And I think we got that out of the shoe. And then we talked about off camera, there was one shoe that didn't make it. The four I ran for a thousand yards in. So when I didn't do it in the three, we designed a four to just be a hybrid between the one and the three. And if you look at it, you see everything that the one and the three display in the four. And yeah, we got we got that point across and I ran for that stack. You know, football players and, and signature shoes, it's like unicorns, yeah. right? Because, you know, basketball players, they have seven, eight, nine shoes, yeah. some of them 20 shoes, but how does that make you feel to be one of the only football players that had, you know, your own signature shoe? It was a great time, man, to have my own shoe, man, and to be able to say I had a shoe that my kids can be proud of, that they can wear uh, now and forever, and continue to get retro at any moment. Now it's about bringing back the cleat. Yeah. It's about bringing back the cleat, man, and the next generation of athletes, let them, let them run wild in them, man. That's why I designed them, because I knew at some point in the future it was going to be time to give back and you know if I was ever good enough then the retro stage would be successful. The players now are so much faster, you know they're so much faster than when I came out I was just a fast individual anyway and I think I would be able to hang with the guys if I was young and playing at this day and time. Um, but you know everything is, is built off speed, offense, defense, special team speed kills and speed wins. They go out there, you feel good, you play good. We always live by that mantra, and you know those guys are doing it extremely well now, and it's, it's certainly fun to watch. I like Seattle when they come out and they have the neon greens, and they're just looking good, and I see Odell got his shoe. 
he's been playing around with a lot, man. And so, I mean, it, it's, it's a great time to be, you know, a, a shoe connoisseur. And last but not least, if you had to rank all four in order, what would they be? I know we're gonna start with the one. In terms of style, I would say the one, the two, the three and the four. Performance-wise, I would say the four, the three, the one, and the two.